Hi and welcome to the Mathematic channel. Today we look at how we can find the value of 1.02 cubed to six decimal places using a binomial expansion. Let's try it out. So a good place to start for this question is to think about the expansion of a plus b to the power 3 since the question says 1.02 to the power 3. And the expansion of a plus b to the power 3 is a cubed plus 3 times a squared times b plus 3 times a times b squared plus b cubed. You can find this expansion using Pascal's triangle. You can find this expansion by doing a plus b times itself times itself. It is a standard formula. You can learn it as well. So I would encourage you to acquaint yourself with this formula. And let's imagine for a second here that we have 1 plus 0 0.02 to the power 3 and that we use the formula that we have above here well it would look a little bit like this so we would say that this is 1 to the power 3 plus 3 times and then we can say 1 to the power 2 times 0 0.02 and plus 3 times 1 times 0 0.02 squared and then we'll have 0 0.02 cubed okay so if we simplify those terms we should get what we want so 1 to the power 3, that's just 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1. And then we'll have 3 times 1 squared, which is 3. So 3 times 0 0.02. And then 3 times 1 uh, times 0 0.02 squared. So we can say 3 times 0 0.02 squared. And then 0 0.02 cubed, well, we know that 2 cubed is 8. So that's pretty helpful. So it'll be an 8. But we need to think about the number of decimal points. And so since we have two decimal points uh, cubed, so it'll be two, two decimal points, two decimal points, and two decimal points, in the end we need to add those, so we'll have six decimal points. So if you're not familiar with how we find the number of decimal points uh, multiplying decimals, then I would suggest that you perhaps look at one of our other videos that explains how to find decimal points. But in this question, we'll need to know that and say that we have six decimal points with an eight at the end, so we're going to say zero point and then we need six, right? So one, two, three, four, five. And then the last number is two cubed, which is an eight. Okay, so using that same logic here, one plus, so three times 0 0.02 is 0 0.06 because three times two is six. And again, we have two decimal points. So 0 0.06. And then for our next part, we have three times 0 0.02 squared. So two squared is four. And again, using the same logic, two decimal points and two decimal points will give you four decimal points. So we'll have four times three, which is 12. So 0 0.0012, which gives us four decimal points, right? So three times four is 12, four decimal points, we're good. And then plus 0 0.000008, which is the last one. And if we put all this together, maybe we can. Uh, I can do this on the side here. We can say that that's equal to 1.061208. So that is our answer for this question. And to six decimal places using a binomial expansion, which is the expansion of 1 plus 0 0.02 to the power 3. And so I've taken the liberty to check this with a calculator to make sure that it's correct. 1.02 to the power 3 is indeed 1.061208. This just shows you how incredibly powerful binomial expansion really is and how you can do incredible operations with mathematics and with binomial expansions without the use of a calculator to get your result like this relatively easily with, uh, with a result to six decimal points, which is absolutely amazing, you guys. Thank you so much for watching the channel. Please remember to drop us a like and subscribe. Share the video if you know other people who might be interested in it. And uh, we shall see you on the next one. Thank you for watching the channel. Bye-bye.